Lesson 48 is about multiplying two-digit numbers. It starts on page 220. It's the second of two lessons on this topic. The first one was back in lesson 44, and we'll just be adding to what we learned in lesson 44 in this lesson. So let's just go ahead and do some practice problems. Look at practice problem A, 18 times 2. Now what we would have done originally, we would multiply the ones column 8 times 2, and that equals 16. Now that's something different than what we did in lesson 44. All the numbers that we multiplied in that ones column, we would just get like a one-digit answer instead of a two-digit answer. This time we have a two-digit answer. So for right now, just write that down, 16, and then the ones column, or the tens column, there's a one in the tens column. We think 10 times 2 is 20. Add those together and we get 36. And so that's the difference in this lesson and that lesson 44 is that now in our ones column we may multiply the two numbers together and get a two digit answer. Now there's a faster way to do these problems so that we don't have to do all that addition there. And that's what we're going to show you too in this lesson. So look at 18 times 2 again and let's just think about this. 8 times 2 is 16 so let's just bring the 6 from 16 and bring that down in the ones column there. Just think of everything being lined up. We have the 8 and the 2 and then the 6 underneath there for our answer. And 16 we can break that up into 10 plus 6, right? So the 110, let's go ahead and put it over here in the tens column. Now multiply 2 times 1 together, that equals 2, and then add that extra 1. So that would be 3 or 30. And we know that that 30 value would go in the tens place. The 3 from 30 would go in the tens place and so that equals 36. And see, we get the same answer either way. 36 here, 36 here. But see, we didn't have to do that extra addition step. Because we understand already, we know that that 1 in the 18, that's in the tens place. And so we can just say 1 times 2 or 10 times 2 is 20. And then that extra 1 that I'm circling in blue, that's really, since it's over in the tens column, that's really, we think of that as 110. And so we add that 110 to 20 and we get 30. And we put that 30, the 3 and 30, down into the tens place in our answer. And we get 36. Let's try another one. 27 times 3. Do 7 times 3. That's 21. And so let's take the 1 from 21 and put it down here in our answer and then the 2 we'll put that over in the tens place now do your multiplication of 2 times 3 that would be 6 and you know we can be thinking about that in the back of our head at 60 since it's in the tens column and then we add 20 to that 6 plus 2 is 8 or 80 and so that 8 goes in the tens place and we get 81 for an answer Let's do another one, 47 times 4. Now let's just rewrite that vertically. Seven times four, that's equal to 28. So we put an eight down here, and the two from 28, we put that over in the tens column. And we think of that as 20. Then we do four times four, that's equal to 16, or 160. And then we add the two, or 20, to that, so that would be 16 plus 2 is 18 or 180. And so we put a 1 in the hundreds column and the 8 in the tens column. 188 is the answer there. Let's do one more of these. 53 times 5. Again, when they're written horizontally like this, let's just rewrite them vertically. Now do your multiplication of 5 times 3. That would be 15 so the 5 and 15, put that in the 1's place. The 1, put that over in the 10's column. Now do 5 times 5, that's 25. And then add the 1 to that, that's 26. 265 is the answer there. So there's some steps at the top of the page there to help you remember what to do on these multiplication of two-digit numbers. Step 1, multiply the 1's. And then if 
if you get a value that's greater than 10 or equal to 10, then you need to carry the tens place over. And then multiply your tens and then add what you carry. Don't do that backwards. Don't add what you carried and then do the multiplication. Like on practice problem D, don't do 5 plus 1 first or something like that. Don't add those two first and say 6 times 5 is 30. That wouldn't work. You do the multiplication first. You do 5 times 5 is 25 and then add the 1, 26. So on D, let me just put an X through that yellow that I just circled there because that's not how we do those problems, right? We multiply the tens first. We do the 5 times 5 first and then we add what we carried. Okay, well that's all for lesson 48.